My name is Ramesh Tripathi. I work with World Meteorological Organization based in Geneva, Switzerland. I am the project manager of this Volta flood and drought management project, which we are implementing in Volta Basin countries for last five years. Uh, this workshop we are uh, organizing here in Accra for three days is mainly with the National Meteorological and Hydrological Services who are responsible or mandated in ma monitoring of floods and drought event at the country level or even at a local or uh, international level. So what we are here is mainly to ensure that we provide a platform for all the participants mainly from meteorology and hydrology as an avenue where they can share experience experience about how they monitor and forecast and give warning on floods and drought uh, at country level and it's an opportunity where uh, each of the country can learn from the experience of other country or share challenges or maybe also take some support from other country if they feel that other country what products they have what capacity they have could be better utilized in strengthening their capacity at the country level so the overall um, goal or mainly the output of this project would be that at the end we identify some of the follow-up points in terms of strengthening the capacity of national meteorological and hydrological services by sharing experience by gaining knowledge and skills of uh, one person professional working in one country supporting the other country because the challenge in this country are same they need some support in managing floods and drought and it is very important that uh, all of us come together in terms of uh, taking actions against these climate change events which are floods and drought which create a lot of impact at the country level and as well as at local level we can see in the past years that there has been a lot of floods in uh, in Ghana especially uh, and there has been a lot of impact the other point is in terms of you know better management of floods i think uh, wmo promotes a con uh, concept of integrated flood management which uh, says that you know we don't need to only have structural measures uh, it is very important to also have non structural measures structural measures meaning uh, engineering solution like we construct dam reservoirs and many other um, concrete uh, measures in order to prevent the water coming to our home or impacting our livelihood but we have seen that you know uh, in many countries even trams are broken or they break or even reservoirs uh, they overflow so it is very important to also have non-structural measure and that is the key of integrated flood management that allows people to gain knowledge skills to know what exactly to take a kind of a action in case there is a flood uh, flooding event and the other the one is to ensure not only having knowledge and awareness we know which are risk areas uh, which are safe areas how to do or construct a house uh, um, have a better land use planning so these are some non-structural measures that will allow us to manage better the flooding because rain is not going to stop uh, day by day we have heard that the rains uh, amount of rains are increasing and once the rain increases the capacity of the river considering also erosion is getting smaller and smaller or it's getting bigger and bigger but it's still i mean in a way the water can go beyond the rivers and then it could impact communities their life their livelihood their agriculture economical activities so it is very important to manage in a way that uh, that can allow the communities to ensure they have uh, preparedness and they have the resilience capability to ensure that after any flooding event they come back to their pre-existing state so that is something is what we are promoting as a way of uh, integrated flood management aspect in the project the third thing is about engagement of community in stakeholders, uh, stakeholders. Uh, in the project what we have done is basically we have done community based flood and drought management activity especially in uh, in in the upper east area of ghana we have taken one pilot community in the bongo district uh, where uh, there is a community kunkua we have developed their capacity in terms of flood and drought uh, management uh, aspect we have involved all the stakeholders from municipal uh, office we have people from ngos they were invited they 
contributed they come together to learn from each other to share what could be the best approach in terms of uh, managing we have also taken consideration of traditional knowledge you know technology and all are very important and could be very useful but traditional experience are also very important for example we came to know from people what is the level of water they have faced in the past and based on that we did some marking of flood level so that in case anyone sees that the water level is rising to the past events they can take necessary action without waiting for anyone to come and give them any warning or anything so it's better to build the preparedness and uh, resilience at the household level and then go beyond going as an bottom up approach rather than top down approach so that's something I wanted to share